Ito ang mas klaro. Uh, yung red uh, line, yan yung supposed uh, China's claim on their territorial waters. Yung UNCLOS, uh, 200 mile nautical, uh, 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone, yan yung mga blue line, no? And you can see Scarborough Shoal is way within our exclusive economic zone. Almost all of the Spratlys are within our exclusive economic zone. Vietnam, uh, nag, uh, nagkukonverge sila pagdating sa Paracels, which is another highly disputed uh, area. Uh, and then din yung uh, Mischief Reef. Uh, ibalik natin sa Mischief Reef, no? Yung Mischief Reef, yan yung uh, kinlame nila na inoccupy ng mga, ng mga Chinese, which is way within our exclusive economic zone. It is only 130 nautical miles from the coastline of Palawan. Okay, so ano ibig sabihin ng exclusive economic zone? Ang sabi dito, yung sovereign rights for the purpose of exploring and exploiting and conserving and managing the natural resources that is within the exclusive uh, economic zone under Article 56 and Article 55 of UNCLUS. Pero dito, wala yung sovereign exercise of power with respect to customs, immigration, quarantine. Yun ang wala. Walang control ang uh, country claiming an exclusive economic zone. Pero pagdating sa exploitation and, of, uh, and management of natural resources, yun ang prerogative ng country claiming the exclusive economic zone. And here, you can see that uh, the statements of China that pertains to the area within our 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone has no basis as far as UNCLOS is concerned. Yung warning uh, being issued by Ambassador Liu of China has no basis as far as international law is concerned because uh, they have no right to talk about exploiting or managing the natural resources within our exclusive economic zone, which incidentally includes the Reed Bank na matagal na nating uh, uh, dinidevelop yung Reed Bank na yan. Okay, pakusapan natin yung mischief reef uh, which started uh, the very intensive uh, uh, debate and the conflict between China and the Philippines. Noong uh, 1994, noong una, this was controlled by the Philippines, no? especially Filipino fishermen. Hindi na babalitaan ng China rito. I can say that uh, from historical basis because uh, I served in the Philippine Navy in 1970, in 1971, we visited what was called then as uh, Freedom uh, Land. Uh, pinunta namin yung parola, yung pag-asa, yung pugad. And during that time, hindi na babalitaan ang Chinese Navy during that time. Not even a shadow of uh, the Chinese Navy during that time. All the way to this Carboro Shoal, which we used to patrol when I was in the Philippine Navy. No 1994, the PRC built the uh, initial structures on stilts. Nung hindi nagpapatrol ang Philippine Navy uh, during the monsoon uh, season. Ito ang itsura niya, no? Uh, yung uh, 1994, 1995. So, ang excuse ng uh, China at that time, they made a statement saying na pasensya na. Uh, these are only temporary to, to shelter our fishermen. Don't worry about this. Medyo nagkaroon ng gulo dyan, nagkaroon ng ingay. But uh, because of the assurances of uh, China, the noise subsided on the basis of uh, those assurances that these were just temporary structures for the shelter of the fishermen. And being good neighbors, siguro, uh, we tolerated uh, that situation until, uh, of course, the reef is within uh, 130 nautical miles, no? Uh, they reject your protest, they'll uh, shelter around for fishermen. But in 1999, 1998, 1999, another wave of protests from Manila occurred when China added more structures, this time permanent structures. I also had the opportunity to overfly the area on board uh, a Philippine Air Force C-130 to look, to see for myself the construction going on at that time. Nung nakita namin yan, we flew about 500 feet above uh, uh, one of the uh, Misty Reef. Kitang-kita namin yung ang dami-dami mga workers doon, uh, nakikislapan yung mga welders nila, that they were uh, working on something really big. 
Kaya nagsimula na ang gulo dito. In fact, uh, even uh, Congressman Roro Baker of uh, the United States of California was with me when we flew over the Mississippi Creek area. Tapos ito na ang dinevelop nila. Imagine, from uh, the so-called temporary structure on stilts to that, which is even bigger than some of our municipios in uh, many localities. Tingnan nyo naman yan. That is, uh, you're talking of a three-story building there. Uh, I understand uh, there may be a few hundred uh, uh, Chinese soldiers there. It has been garrisoned uh, with all kinds of uh, facilities. It's a three-story Chinese fort already. Ayan, yan yung uh, isa pang angle. Notice the original structure on the left. So, and of course, at that time, we call that the creeping invasion uh, being uh, conducted uh, by China within our exclusive economic zone. They even tried to plant buoys in the Sabina Shoal area, which is really very much closer to, to Palawan, only 70 miles from, uh, from Palawan. So, ginagawa nila, parating ng tubog, sisimula sila ng temporary structure, and then, uh, pag nag-subside yung, uh, yung inay, then they will build quietly and then uh, bubulagayin tayo ng permanent structure and that is what uh, the diplomats call a pay accompli already. So you can see there is bad faith from the very start here. That is why if uh, they would make assurances, it is my considered position that we should not accept these assurances because of the fact that there was bad, bad faith from the start uh, of this uh, mischief reef uh, uh, conflict. And that's another picture of the of the structure. Now, with respect to armed conflict and uh, the capability and even willingness of China to use force, this has been demonstrated already. In 1988, there was an actual uh, encounter between the Vietnamese Navy and the Chinese Navy in the Johnson Reef area. Uh, this was in 1998 and uh, the Chinese Navy mauled the Vietnamese Navy. I think two or three of their ships of the Vietnamese ships were sunk here and they lost uh, more than 70 sailors in this uh, encounter. So let us not uh, minimize the potential and willingness of China to use the force as demonstrated by this bloody incident in the Johnson Reef area. Now, nag-deploy uh, nag, uh, na sila ng mga several modern uh, ships.